నేను మాత్రం మా ఇద్దరు పిల్లల్ని క్వాలిటీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అందించే ఉల్లంపర్రు మాంటిసోరి స్కూల్లో మాత్రమే చదివిస్తాను ఇలా అన్ని ఉన్న చోట మన పిల్లల్ని చదివిస్తేనే వాళ్ళకి మంచి భవిష్యత్తు ఉంటుంది నాకు అన్ని నెంబర్ వన్ కావాలి అందుకే నా పెద్ద మనవరాల్ని అన్ని వసతులతో క్వాలిటీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అందిస్తున్న స్కూల్లోనే జాయిన్ చేశాను ఏ స్కూల్ సార్ అది ఉల్లంపర్రు మాంటిసారి స్కూల్ క్వాలిటీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ లో నెంబర్ వన్ కల్చరల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ లో నెంబర్ వన్ స్పోర్ట్స్ లో నెంబర్ వన్ క్యాంపస్ లో నెంబర్ వన్ అది మీ పిల్లల బంగారు భవిష్యత్తుకు మాది బాధ్యత Community Decision Making in a Tribe We are going to see a lesson about Community Decision Making in a Tribe Here, first of all we shall know what is a community First of all let us see what is a community Community means a group of people Community means a group of people living together A group of people living together is called a community Community means a group of people living together living together is called as a community decisions means uh, to take uh, what is to think that and do the things that what is right and what is wrong and uh, making in a tribes this uh, in this community of tribes that means in the tribal community how the decisions are being taken either it may be right or wrong what is the work they are doing right or wrong or who will be the head of that uh, community we shall see now in this lesson here uh, we shall know what is a tribe tribes means uh, a group of people a group of people living with the different uh, customs uh, culture religion in the forest living together are called as a tribes a group of people living in a forest okay a group of people living in the forest are called tribes see here if a, a group of people are living in a small habitation or a small village there will be more number of people will be living there there will be more number of people living there here the works that water being done by the people either it may be wrong or it may be right are the people that are who has to act as a leader for them their decisions what they are doing should be taken by one of the person okay like that only the rules and regulations are to be framed the that the, that the people has to follow these all things uh, how they are being done and uh, who will be the person to lead the community and who will act as a leader in their community we are going to see in this lesson okay first of all let us see again who are tribes a tribes means a group of people living in a forest with a different customs or religions or uh, culture whatever it may be in a forest uh, are called a tribe simply we want to see a group of people living in a forest are called as a tribes in india there are uh, so many types of uh, tribal communities that means if you see in our state uh, in uh, 28 states in india we are having a uh, 28 states okay in each and every state there may be one or more community of people there may be one or uh, more uh, community of uh, tribal people living in each and every state here these uh, tribal people that who are living in these all states uh, are uh, not having a uh, same uh, they are not belong to the same religion they are not belong to the same religion they don't have the same culture Okay. They don't have the same language, they don't have the same uh, customs. Okay. See here, in the, the 28 states, there may be in each and every state there are compulsorily one or two types of uh, tribal people living there. But uh, all these tribal people who are living there, they are having entirely different, they are not related uh, to each other. They are not having, a, they are not belong to the same religion or they won't have the same culture or they don't have the same language, they don't speak the same language and they won't follow the same customs. They are entirely different to each other. They are not related to any of these, of these persons. But even though they are, they are related differently to each other, they are, they are has to be called as the 
tribal people they are calling as the tribal people why they are calling them as the tribal people what is the reason why do we say them uh, they call themselves as the tribal people we shall know okay here uh, he said that there are different types of community of tribal people who are they what are those communities means uh, there are so many tribal community of people uh, like uh, gons koyas chenchus sevras yanadis yarakas dommara etc see see we are having so many type of community there are so many tribal communities like uh, gons koyas chenchus sevras yanadis yarakas dommara these are all the tribal community of people uh, living these all people uh, are living in the for some of the people are living in the forest or some may be living in the outskirts of the village but they are, uh, they are belong to the tribal people okay here uh, now we shall see even though they are uh, belong to the different uh, tribal communities they are all called as the tribal people they are all called as the tribals tribes these all people are called as the tribes why they are called so so see just i'm going to show you a picture of these uh, community of people see these are the different types of uh, community people gonds chenchus kondarides okay okay children these are the different types of uh, tribal people that who are living see now we said that uh, even though they are having a uh, different types of uh, religion or different types of language different types of culture and different types of community of people different types of customs uh, they are called as the tribals and we shall see how they are related and why they are calling themselves as the tribes means uh, for example we shall see about the gonds we are going to see about the gond society see this is one of the a tribal community that who are living in the and uh, that in the india especially we can uh, find these people in the telangana areas okay here we are going to see how they are related uh, to each other we are seeing this about the gond community here this tribal people uh, uh, see they think that uh, they are all the descendants of the same ancestors they are uh, descendants of the ancestor that means uh, they think that uh, their ancestor that means the forefathers and the grand great grandfathers they all are from the one person only okay that means uh, they think that uh, they are all the relatives to each other they are all the relatives okay they are all the relatives to each other they are all the relatives to each other and uh, they think that uh, they had something relation between them all. Uh, that means they are followed uh, they are followed to the same ancestors okay and like that only we are going to see how they are uh, they are leading their life in the forest and uh, what uh, are the process that how they lead their life in the forest here uh, there are uh, these people are totally dependent on the forest life these people are totally dependent on the forest life they are entirely uh, taking the food from the forest hunting and uh, gathering food from the forest like uh, chovers uh, and uh, hunting the animals collecting uh, food from the uh, rivers uh, like fish and those all things okay they lead their life entirely from those people okay they believe that they are belong to the same ancestors and like that only the property that which is uh, in this uh, forest like uh, land forest pastures right these all uh, are the common resources that means uh, they think that they does not uh, belong to any of the person or the individual on his own these are not the property of any of the person that means uh, this not belong to any individual family or any individual person they are uh, related they are the common resources these are called as the resources these are the common resources okay these are the common resources like land the forest and pastures are the common resources that can which can be yeah, used by all the tribal community people okay but any of the person that who are living in the tribes don't have the uh, they don't have any own uh, the own land or they won't have the own forest or pastures they all the people that who are living in the 
forest can replace all these common resources equally and here the another point we are going to see the next point is there are no any acute differences like rich and poor in this tribal community the first point is all the resources are the common resources that which can be utilized by the tribal people like land forest and pastures and the next point we are going to see is uh, there are no any acute differences uh, like rich and poor no acute differences okay the second point one is this one there are no acute differences like uh, rich and poor between these uh, tribal people why there is no acute differences why are you saying that see for if you think nowadays society in the modern day no, modern society there are differences between each and every person. A rich person is there, a poor person is there. Why we are saying the differences? What are the differences between rich and poor according to our society means uh, the rich person can have a like, can lead a happy life. That means he can spend more money and he can have a very uh, very peaceful life uh, and he can uh, can spend more money and whatever he wants. But the poor people are not like that. They has to work the uh, earn money by their workings. But here in the tribal society, there are no any acute differences. Why? Because uh, if there want to be a difference uh, like rich and poor, they should have their own property on his name or related to his family. But in the first one, we said that the natural resources like land, forest and pastures uh, are not related to any individual or any of the family or any of the person in this uh, tribal community. They are all the common resources. That means what uh, any of the person that who are uh, living in the community of tribes uh, can utilize this uh, land, forest or water or pastures uh, equally. They are uh, shared among them as the uh, equally. And here, uh, we are saying that there are no any acute differences between the rich and poor because if they are not having any property of their own, there won't be any differences. Why? Because if you have any property on your own, you may be earn more money and you can have more of property. Then you will be a rich person. If you don't have any property of your own and if all the people are like that, then there won't be any acute differences. So, in the tribal community also, it is like that, uh, there is no any acute differences uh, like rich and poor. Why? Because means uh, all the people that who are living uh, in that society can utilize all these resources uh, like land, forest and pastures uh, equally. Okay? And like that only, the third point if you see, this land's uh, water being uh, used in the forest uh, are uh, divided uh, on the basis of the family or uh, on the members living in the family. That means the land is uh, divided equally among the family members. The land is divided equally among the family, depending upon the family. Depending upon the family, the land is divided. Okay, we are seeing that uh, yeah, if the people, the land, if you come to the cultivating land, that means what they have to do, they have to do the agriculture. So what they will do means uh, on the basis of the family members. For example, if you see in one family, there are five or six members uh, and uh, in another family, two members. Here the land will be divided uh, according to the family members that who are there living in the family. That means if there are five members, the land will be given somewhat more than the family members that who are living the two members because uh, they have to get more uh, more things for eating. So this, if the five acres is given to the uh, more living members family, two or three acres or one acre is given to the two or two members living family. On the basis of these family members and uh, according to their uh, resources, the land will be divided. And these are uh, all the common resources can be utilized uh, by all the people that who are living in the forest uh, according to the rules that which were framed among the their community that means uh, uh, they are using the land here what is the rule that means uh, any of the person cannot keep the land on his own okay did you get this point any of the person cannot keep the land on his own he has to give it again after a few years they will be redistributed again among them so that land is not a property of his own and he cannot sell it or he cannot give as a gift to other person that means uh, these are the rules that which were framed uh, among their community according to 
the rules that which are to be framed in the society to live happily are not showing any acute differences uh, like rich and poor okay like that all depending upon the families uh, they are dividing the lands but in other some of the other communities the other community tribes like Chenchus, uh, Yanadis, if you take them out, uh, what they will do is uh, after a few years uh, they will be redistributed or redivided. The lands will be redistributed or redivided uh, for after a few years because uh, there may be changes in the families. So what they will do is uh, they will uh, redistribute or uh, redivide uh, the lands according to the families de uh, depending upon the families. Okay, and the next point is uh, in uh, some of the tribal communities, if you come to other tribal communities, what they will do means uh, they won't divide the land or uh, distribute the lands. What they will do means they all commonly till the soil. They all commonly till the soil. They use the land commonly. Land commonly. The land is common uh, to all the people. Okay. The land is common to all the people, but the, what they will do means all the people who are living there uh, will uh, coordinately, that means all the people will uh, till the land and uh, the finally what they get product uh, will be distributed equally among themselves. They will distribute the uh, product, that means if they are growing, uh, if they are cultivating the, uh, the paddy, uh, what the product uh, finally we get that they will distribute among all the people equally like that only corns or whatever it may be whatever the crops they grow there that will be done by all the members of that community and they will share the product equally and like that only here if you go to the another point the persons cannot sell the land these persons cannot sell the land to the other person that means and here we said before only the land cannot be of his own that does not belong to any of the individual so then he won't have the right to sell the land so what he has to do he has to use that up to what uh, up to what time he can use that he will use that and next uh, again the tribal community acts uh, what they will do is they will uh, redistribute the land or they will uh, give to the other person means there won't be any they, the person cannot have any right to sell the land and the next one is uh, the people that who are living uh, all the family members uh, who are living here uh, have will do all the works uh, that means uh, the like uh, gathering food uh, gathering food from forest uh, grazing animals uh, cultivation and uh, okay some other works just uh, i will show you the picture uh, that uh, what the people are doing the works i will show you the picture now See children, these are the works of the tribal people. Next one is uh, giving importance to the festivals. Here, uh, all these uh, tribal people uh, give very importance uh, to the festivals and the rituals. That means they give importance, importance to festivals. Okay, they give very more importance to the festivals and the rituals uh, to please their uh, forest god. Means uh, if you see the tribal people will consider uh, the forest as their gods. Okay, up to now we have seen uh, what are the works that will be done by the forest people that means tribal people and uh, how they will lead their life. And now we are going to see how they, will, they are going to solve their problems and who will be and who will act as a leader among them we are going to see that is uh, the, the Gons community that is one of the tribes that living in India they are Gons Gons Punch Gons Punch and uh, Patra Gons Punch and Patra here uh, what is the meaning of a punch punch means a community of uh, a village a council of the village that means that which solves the problems of the villagers is called as the council that is the panchayat that means what is the main 
thing of this panchayat or the main work of this panchayat means sir, to solve all the problems sir, are that what are the villages are facing or if there are any uh, problems that are being faced by the villagers or if they are having disputes among them they has to put it in the punch and uh, they will solve the problems in the punch and here what are the major works of the punch what are the major works what are the major works of the punch means uh, to fix the dates of some of the important festivals to fix the dates of uh, some of the important festivals uh, and to uh, arrange or uh, arrange marriages dates uh, or to divorce or remarry and to arrange remarriage between the persons these are all the works uh, are the some of the important works uh, that which were done by the punch gone punch and here uh, who will act as a leader among them yes we are having the punch that means a council of that village then who will solve all the problems and who will act as a leader means uh, patra will be as a leader uh, for this punch patra will be as the leader for the punch and who is patra patra means uh, he is the headman of the village patra means headman patra is the headman of the village that means uh, he will act as a leader sometimes uh, he take part as an uh, actual leader uh, to participate uh, to solve the problems uh, in that village and uh, what are the rules uh, of the patra and what are the works that has to be done by the patra and uh, if he done any mistake see in the village if any person do the mistake the patra will uh, solve all the problems then if not uh, Patra is doing a mistake and he is uh, na, uh, arrogant to the people that who are living in the community. Who will do, who will take action on him? We shall, we shall see now in this. Okay. Okay. Patra. Patra is the village headman. See, he has to, the main work of this is to make the, all the people be unity of the village. In that community, he has to make all the people to be in the unity okay and like that only he has to uh, make the other things like uh, he has to look after the guests that who come to the village and he has to look after their uh, uh, for eating purpose and whatever it may be and like that only if he is not listening or if he is directly responsible for the punch he will be directly responsible to the punch but here the punch does not meet uh, every time it meets only if there are any important works or if any disputes are there this punch will meet there and uh, patra has to work on the daily basis that means he has to work daily there will be daily work for the patra and uh, he has to look after the village and he has to look after the problems that what are being uh, faced by those uh, people in that village and he has to solve all the problems and he is directly responsible for the punch he will be directly responsible for the punch and he is the leader of the community of the people and who will be as patra means the people the family that who is the main reason for forming of the village the forming of village the person the family who is responsible for the forming of the village from the family the patra will come there they will select the patra it is a hereditary this uh, patra post is a hereditary that means it comes family wise that means uh, if a father is the patra from this family next his son will be as the patra next his son like that it is a hereditary which comes uh, from the same family and like that only if the patra is ignest uh, to the wish of the people and if he is arrogant that means not listening to the people and he is doing some uh, creating some of the problems to the people that uh, who are living in that uh, village uh, who can take action means uh, the punch has the right to dissolve him from the patra post the punch has the right to dissolve him from the patra post and i can appoint the other person as the patra okay and like that only here uh, we are going to see uh, what are the benefits that is patra is doing here means uh, the benefits is that he has to look after the uh, guests that who come to the uh, that uh, village and he has to entertain those guests and for this all purpose what he will do means in return uh, the tribal community of people who are living in the community will work in his, uh, in his works in his uh, land uh, freely for one day okay all the, uh, the people will work in his uh, farms that means in his uh, fields for one day freely Again, like that only, these are the 
problems that what are being faced by the village uh, this patra we have seen and like that only na this uh, after the introducing of uh, elections that means in uh, 1940 after the 1940s and 1950s uh, the government has been changed there are so many changes uh, and uh, there have been started elections there have been started the elections from then onwards uh, this patra had uh, lost uh, lost their powers uh, and uh, why because means uh, all the people uh, who are facing the problem they are going directly to the police station and uh, courts so this patra has uh, lost their powers okay and uh, after the uh, election starting panchayat raj election the sarpanch election also has been introduced from then onwards uh, this patra has lost their power okay and like that only we have seen up to now the works that which are being the patra and uh, Uh, in the nice 1871 to 72 between the years of 1871 to 72 the government according to the census of 1871 to 72 some of the tribal people that who are uh, except the people that who are living in the forest remaining persons uh, are uh, considered uh, as a uh, uh, criminal tribes that means uh, they are doing the criminal uh, works why because means they are the migrating tribes and nomad tribes they work they lead their life by by the singing dancing as a beggars and vagabonds so in a, according to the yes, 1871 to 71 census uh, these all uh, these some of the tribes that who are not not living in the forest and leading a nomadic life uh, are considered uh, as declared as they uh, declared as the criminal tribes between 1871 to 72 these are nomad tribes are uh, declared as a criminal tribes okay after that uh, the again, again uh, in uh, after some years what has done is uh, again this uh, government has declared these uh, criminal tribes uh, as economically and educationally backward uh, backward tribes uh, and they given uh, so much importance for them okay and like that only we have seen about all the problems and that which are being faced by the tribal people and like that if you go to andhra pradesh uh, we can see some of the tribal people like uh, dommara bodbokla chenchu yanadi these are all the people that which we can find uh, in our uh, uh, andhra pradesh and the works that which are being done by these people to lead their life and they uh, what are those works means uh, like pig grinding uh, basket weaving the some of the other works they lead their life and they live in the outskirts of the villages uh, are far away from the villages okay just i am going to show, show you a picture uh, of uh, these uh, indian tribes that which are depending that uh, are the tribes that who are living in andhra pradesh okay what are the works see i am going to show you a picture now okay okay children see these are the works that which are done by the uh, tribal people who are living in andhra pradesh okay children this is about uh, the community decision making in the tribes you have seen that how the community of uh, tribals will live who are the tribals who will act as a leader these all we have seen in this lesson i think you all of you understood the lesson thank you నేను మాత్రం మా ఇద్దరు పిల్లల్ని క్వాలిటీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అందించే ఉల్లంపర్రు మాంటిసోరి స్కూల్లో మాత్రమే చదివిస్తాను ఇలా అన్ని ఉన్న చోట మన పిల్లల్ని చదివిస్తేనే వాళ్ళకి మంచి భవిష్యత్తు ఉంటుంది నాకు అన్ని నెంబర్ వన్ ఏ కావాలి అందుకే నా పెద్ద మనవరాల్ని అన్ని వసతులతో క్వాలిటీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అందిస్తున్న స్కూల్లోనే జాయిన్ చేశాను ఏ స్కూల్ సార్ అది ఉల్లంపర్రు మాంటిసోరి స్కూల్ క్వాలిటీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ లో నెంబర్ వన్ కల్చరల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ లో నెంబర్ వన్ స్పోర్ట్స్ లో నెంబర్ వన్ క్యాంపస్ లో నెంబర్ వన్ అది మీ పిల్లల బంగారు భవిష్యత్తుకు మాది బాధ్యత